was both a hell of a... <laughs> I know what you are. I know why I needed you. But it's all over now. I don't need you anymore.
What do you want, James? <sighs> flowers? <laughs> I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Look at me. I'm disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please. Don't go. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die.
Mary? I have missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. No. James. Honey. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? I am so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. <sighs> no. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. I can't!
so sad. Mary. It's okay, James. Here. It's what you've been looking for.
In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you to come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better, it's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. That's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know, I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon. So that you remember me for who I was. And not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others, like you did for me. James, you made me happy. <laughs>